Good morning, it's time to bring an end to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 long play here. Which is pretty sad, it's been a great game to run through, but I think it's good to bring it to a logical conclusion rather than hammer it down and just beat the game into submission. Unlike Frostpunk where we take out the magnifying glass and try to find a few shards that can still be broken up into sand. So we have only two missions left to go. We got Lucky Lake and Rainbow Summit. As with everything else, we're going to go through it in order. And look at it, I'm all checked off. I guess it feels good. It feels damn good. Okay, Lucky Lake. With unlimited funds, but a challenging lake location, this park will be a challenge to expand and manage. Have at least 2,100 guests in your park. So no time limit. Okay. Well, let's fire it up and have a quick look at it. So this is the second of the five expert parks which has unlimited funds which is a bit yeah like why have expert parks that uh, that have unlimited funds okay but the last time we did an uh, an unlimited funds park the guests were really picky uh, where do we see it here they wanted extreme intensity on all of their rides but these folks all seem to just prefer more than four, so it's not like we have any particular difficulties in that aspect. Perhaps the difficulty lies in the map itself, where we have this great big lake cut off on two sides by uh, rivers. So our options for building aren't so great. Well, you could say that, but we also have the ability to terraform land however we please. Are we able to buy land? No, no we're not. Which makes sense since money is infinite, but we've got a pretty tight area around the side here that we uh, we can use for building. I'm not so keen on all this area being taken up already, though. Uh, in fact, I've got very little space to build because of the things that already exist here. It's sorely tempting to rip them apart, but if I do so, I might make the park rating drop pretty swiftly. So I should probably start expanding the park then tear down these crummy pre-builds. I yeah, don't do pre-builds. Uh, and get going from there. Alright, first port of call is let's have a whole load of handy men. If money is not an object, then we might as well have as many of these as possible. So, for a park this large, I'm thinking 60 handy men. Uh, 25 mechanics. And, yeah, maybe a few security guards, but a bunch of entertainers as well, just in case anybody's feeling a bit glum chum. There we go, good enough. Um, really not liking the, the layout of this park at all. It doesn't give me any space to get anything going immediately. Plenty of space around the sides to set up shops, and I suppose the entranceways to the rights that I'm going to build, which are going to be built out along the water. Okay, where's the park entrance? I mean, they're walking over here, but this sure... Oh, this is the entrance, right? They, rock, they walk in here, doop de doo and then immediately they have this mine train coaster. Bet it's going to be nowhere near as good as the mine coaster I build. Okay, well, we'll start off by bringing our pathway out into the water so I can actually put it to use. Oh no, 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 that that uh, music is going to be turned right off from the carousel. Mm, not what I was envisaging, but that'll do. I just uh, just want to have area to build on out here, much like you would if we were doing this on flat land. I'm actually unsure if this is going to be any more challenging than if I just did it on flat land. Mm, yeah, that's okay, I suppose. I want a bit more of a framework to work with here, though. The grand plan I have in my head here is that I'll have a mini theme park built my way out here on the water, and then I'm going to get rid of all the crummy pre-builds that we have. Maybe I shouldn't call them so crummy, they're probably better than things that I build, but uh, this has been a no pre-builds run and I want to keep it that way. As ever, we park, bench, and bin it up. And I'm so surprised there's not a mod for this. 
just make it a certain kind of passing that already has these uh, on them. Not that bins are particularly of importance, I'd say, given that I have so many handymen, they would clean up all the filth anyway. But it stops any of the filth even making people consider that my park shouldn't get the tidiest park award. And it's pretty tidy. So with these two being the final two scenarios of Roller Coaster Tycoon, it means we're going to roll for the next long play. I shouldn't say roll, right? We're voting for it. I know it's an alien concept around here. But for long plays, I decided, well, I didn't, well based on the feedback from the, um, the survey that I put out, where there was a few ideas coming forth about, hey, I wish we could vote on the things that get played in the future. I like that idea. So that's why we do it now. I've never used channel points, says Sir Bob. Very good. Not that they're very good, it's very good that you haven't. I'm not sure what purpose they serve, but I haven't had the time to look at them. I mean, yesterday was 90% roller coasters. And today could well be the same, depends how challenging these final expert maps are. Okay, now that I have something resembling some ra uh, ground to work with, we should pause and look at what we uh, what we actually have to work with. Um, we're researching everything, it seems. Okay. What do we have? Mm, transport rides that I don't like at all anyway. A few gentle rides that we don't care about at all. Roller coasters, though. Steel Wild Mouse, the Jungle Roller... Oh, no, Junior Roller Coaster. That means we can get uh, the awful Black Wind up and operational. Um... Built with an alternative vehicle type. Vehicle type, not perform as expected. Okay, well it's an option. Not a big fan of the mini coaster. Mine train is pretty cool. You can do a lot of things with it. Hmm? Or am I thinking of the wooden coaster? Who can say? Mine. Yes, the Bob Slayer is back. I think that might be our first coaster. The Bob Slayer is so good. And there's a roller coaster if we want to have the cash machine going, but cash is not a problem, so shouldn't be. Jake, you can send messages only subs can see or highlight messages and some emote function I don't care about because emote says TBW, the world's greatest tiny roller coaster. Cheers. Uh, thrill rides. We've got twists, snow cups, go karts, motion simulator. Good water rides. I like water rides. I'm told constantly that they're terrible, but that doesn't stop me from liking them. And lots of shops available. I'm not sure if the cash machine has any purpose at all in. Uh, in such a scenario. Still, let's get the immunities that we need in. Toilets are a must. How else am I going to win the coveted best toilets award? Which does exist. I think you require a certain amount of toilets per person. And nobody needs to need the bathroom. I'm unlikely to ever get that award because I always charge for my toilets, so people tend to want them. But hey, it's a, it's a theme park. You should be expected to pay for everything. Yeah, I'm pretty saddened by the fact that everything is free on this. Because this would provide a pretty interesting challenge. Interesting is an awful use to, uh, word to use. So void of meaning. But it would be interesting uh, because you'd have to make your small amounts of money by doing stuff on the land, the very limited land you have, before the option is really open to you to start uh, building over the water, which is notably more expensive. Or if you want to terraform over the water, well that's another story altogether. People might get bored with only burgers around here, so they can get some fried chicken as well. No, no, no. Or rather, oh, you only do that music. Well, goodbye. 
Alright, they have food, they have toilets. Next up, they need drinks. The regular drink stall always seems to serve me the best. What a great game. I'm really gonna miss playing this game. Get them some coffee over here by the other burger bar. I feel like I lack a toilet over here. And I will want to build some uh, some first aid rooms because I have a feeling people are going to get a bit queasy. And hey, if it's free, why not have it? Okay, good enough. Let's start having some rides. Flat rides are the way to go just to start us off with. Everybody do the twist. Uh, perspective is hard. Just open it up, but we need some actual music or else I get really, um, really nervous. Ah, that's quite nice. There we go. And some snowy cups as well. And the motion sim, it's nice and small, very small footprint. I don't know if it's any good, but I've been using it without too much problem. The best, the park with the best toilet facilities, I just said I'd never get that. The game must be listening. The whole lake is a toilet, says Anon EDM. Well, no, once I build uh, the bobsleigh, there'll be enough toilet bowls in that. Okay, uh, this seems like a nice area to build up the bobslayer. Ah, no, gotta have go-karts first. Watery go-kart seems like a pretty exciting adventure. Too high for some. Oh, yeah, the water underneath is a uh, problem there. Well, that's nothing this tool won't help with. Looks real hideous, I know. This thing really does not uh, take supports well, does it? There we go, nice and simple. There's really no reason to make it less than simple as far as I can tell. It would be nice if uh, there was incentive to make go-karting a bit more exciting. There we go. I recall go-karts in um, Theme Park being one of the better things. I actually fired up Theme Park for the Super Nintendo last night after playing this because I wanted to check and see if it was as good as I remember. Um, it is not. Not at all. Maybe it was better for the PC, but that game had an uncapped frame rate, so on good PCs a whole year would pass in a couple of seconds. It was quite painful. Okay, got some base rides going. It's time for the ultimate bobslayer. I remember playing my way, uh, playing way too much Theme Park World on the PC. Not Theme Park World, I'm talking about Theme Park, but 
you're obviously not, so let's not belabor the point. Alright, time to slay those bobs. Mm, eh, there's no need to be so... Uh... Now we can have a big one, it's fine if it goes over the people here. down here, brother. Is that getting in the way, I wonder? No, I was probably helixing up when I needed to helix down. photo section there. No, really? I guess that thing in the way is really in the way. They pick up quite a good bit of speed going through that, and looks like I contain the speed pretty well there. And then they can keep going up and around. Good. Well, borderline good. Goes on too long. does look a bit fast there, going over that. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, let's just have a bit of faith in it. There we go. We'll just give it a test and make sure it works just fine. I'm worried about that Humpty Hump there though. It does not fill me with confidence. Also, yeah, mistakes were made when it comes to this cube. And you shall not pass. Okay, I gotta check the speed on this thing. 43, 41. Okay, no, if it takes that at 40, that's fine. more than fine. Alright. 
open her up for business. I bet it's pretty exciting as well. It does have a pretty huge footprint, but ah, there's space here. It's not that wide. And I think it looks good. If it derails in that map, will it explode or just splash? Asks Marvin. Oh, I don't have the answer to that. Ooh, I could have individual bobsleighs instead of the trains. I often wondered about that. What do people think of this awesome ride? They don't think at all. For shame. Unlike most coasters, bobsleighs actually make good speed on helixes. I was thinking about having an upwards helix when it came out of it, but I wanted to keep it narrow enough. There might be trouble for that if we only have fat asses on the back of it. Are people not just coming on it? Come on, folks. Put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this ride. High excitement, high intensity. Awesome. At least somebody wants to get on it. Okay, good enough, but there are other things to be made. Where is he? Where is he? We haven't seen this guy here for some time. should probably give myself a bit more leeway when it comes to positioning here. I want our trio of Brazilians again. Synchronize. Synchronize and synchronize. Should make them all relatively exciting. <laughs> relatively. Yeah, it's good to know that I can make the path like that. Although, how's the queue gonna work? Didn't think of that, did you? Oh, this path can still get out then. Not. Hmm. Okay, there is another solution. Yeah, there is another solution. Good. up with that. Hmm, and these people are busy dancing around on my precious queue here. Um, okay, let's do the least risky thing and drop him on land. I wasn't quite certain he would have just drowned. I don't know if it's bad to drown your staff members, but I still probably shouldn't do it.
Oh, crumbs. Perspective is hard. As usual, Brazilians causing me all of my problems. There we go. Now I have it isolated at least. Okay, now I can do this properly. As I realize, I haven't explained at all what I'm doing here with the BR coasters. So I wanted my three coasters running in unison. Adds to the excitement value of them. And makes an otherwise pretty awful coaster look somewhat acceptable. It is really bad, though. But it was designed to be cheap to build, small, and just generally easy money. And whenever I use it, that's always exactly what they are. Oh no, there's a bit of problem with you, because I didn't give you the extra space to get out like this. Ah, but that shouldn't be a problem, because you have that option. Aha. Thank goodness somebody told me about this way to build... Um, to build paths instead of just clicking directly on the map and worst of all right clicking to try to delete them off the map. All of those solutions are terrible. Okay, right, now we can open them all up for business. They need named though of course. One is naturally the Black Winds. This one could be the Orlov. And this one could be the relics. Mm -hmm. Quite like the ore love. People will be queuing up for these things in no time. What I'm curious about is if the Brelix gets the most excitement because it has walkway right next to its um, next to its sta uh, station. Uh, it seems pretty much the same as the the Brelix there. Maybe it has to be on the same level. Oh, people are queuing up around the block for the Bob Slayer. Excellent. Well, it's a pretty awesome ride. I don't know why people knock... Well, okay, I know exactly why people knock the Bob Slayer. It's not a good coaster. But I like it. Hey, I'd want to ride this thing. I just wish it was a bit faster. I wonder how its throughput is. Because what are these individual? Ah, that's not so good, is it? What could we have? Six-seater blob sleighs. No, it says it's two passengers per car. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So sixteen per bunch doesn't seem too shabby. But we have fifty-three people in the queue. All right, I'm going to close you up. I'm going to change you out for six-seater blob sleighs. 
and test that out because I have a feeling the throughput will be a lot better. Yeah, the bobsleigh trains weren't that bad. What is even momentum? Alright, so far, so not bad. There's no need for the cash machine around here, so never mind that. There's space here to do something, the question is what? It's a mini suspended coaster. The supposedly worst coaster around. It's pretty awful. Give them that for free. I don't like this coaster. This mine train coaster is just getting in the way. Goodbye. Look at all this space I could be using for myself. I want to have a little suspended uh, swinging coaster around here. I don't know how high we can make it. Probably not as high as I would like to. But blame the water for that. seen worse. Ah, that's the problem though, isn't it? Everything underneath us is just that bit too low down. Oh, ooh, that just looks bad. Water, please. Excuse me. I mean, it makes sense that you can't, uh, well, support still have to work underwater, but that doesn't make it more enjoyable to work with. going to be a puke machine that will. Okay, it looks awful. Let's see if this works out for us. Give it a test. Of course, with it lifting as fast as it can. I don't know why you'd ever not have that. The wagons don't make it through, says Kanafi. We'll see about that. As in, we'll probably see how right you are. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Okay, where did I not make it through? Well, 
one of these were not to be, right? There we go, try that on for size. I feel like that's going to be enough to get over here. Oh no, I, I already put a chain lift on it. What a not exciting looking ride. And yet at the same time it's probably going to be way too intense and nauseating giving all these, uh, all these sharp bends. But isn't that what the ride's all about? It's not meant to be about minimum waiting time though, god no. Send them all down to their doom. I want throughput here, damn it. Hmm, not too shabby. People are going to be a bit erpy after it, but... Intensely nauseating. One passenger per car. Oh well, open it up. And perhaps most importantly, let's have a sick bay right by the exit. I saw some guy getting more nauseous as he sat down on a park bench, which damaged the credibility of this idea that park benches reduce nausea. I'll still believe it, just not as adamantly as before. Oh, good ride. Shouldn't explode. Uh, why is nobody riding the bobs? Okay. Since I shut the ride down, everybody went away. No, really, why is it not operating? Most importantly, why are they still singles? This is not a train. What happened to my trains? Ah, that's the thing. The number of cars per chain, uh, per train changed. He's not gonna make it. You know, I hope that does it, because that allows me to get a lot more people in. Three times seven is better than two times eight. Don't you know? Although I want to see it in action first. Eh, it's not the most comfortable hump I've ever seen there, but it makes it. And the Brazilian trio were very popular though. <laughs> what a crap ride. I can't believe it gets such good stats for how crap it is. I guess it's good for people that want to ride a roller coaster but are too terrified to ride the big ones. Looks better now. Do the dynamics change with more passengers and more weight? Yes. Passengers each have a weight, and which is more, they have a different weight, which is based on the color of uh, tops and bottoms they're wearing. I don't know all the combinations though, I just know that there is weight, so you should keep it in mind when building. And weight will affect how a ride goes, so it can be fine in test mode and then crash in not test mode. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe, maybe a suspended coaster isn't as bad as I thought. I guess the problem is how erpy it is. It's good for those high intensity people at least. Okay. There's more coastering to be done. A lot of footpath around here, which is good. Normally, one of the bigger problems of my parks is the complaint of lack of, um, well, how crowded it is. With so much footpath, it's hard to be crowded. What I think is a bit sad are the lack of balloons that I see around here, though. Especially all these people that are riding the Brazilians, they're going to want balloons. They'll probably also want a souvenir. And some classy shades, so they really feel like they're in... Uh, no, maybe a hat. A hat to block out the scorching sun. I love boat hire. I need to have it. I'm not sure that this is the best place to have it, though. There's not a lot of clearance to get what I want. But I'd love to have people splashing around underneath the bobsleigh. Oh, there's clearance to get under here. That's good. That's very good. Obviously, coaster goes further down than I thought. Okay, that's pretty fantastic. And they're gonna jet ski through it. Mm -hmm. Better than Aristos canoeing through it. And yes, I know, we need the exit or else we're going to drown. Okay, I'm sure most of us are tired of the fantasy music. I forget who I turned it on on. Yeah, you. Okay, well, let's have some Egyptian style. Much more fitting. Just barely clearing that hump, my days. Still, it's an exciting ride, but I know what would make it more exciting. I'm right, right? Oh, I'm not right enough.
There we go. I wanted that six excitement. Can I hide the rides somehow? See through rides. That is pretty cool. Jet skiing underneath the most intense bobsleigh and suspended swinging roller coaster there is. This is hopefully a pretty exciting uh, boat ride. It's very hard to get high excitement on it. 4.12. That's an amazing stat for a boat hire, really. Based on my very limited knowledge. Maybe give the mini coasters a different color each. Hey, that's true. We'll give them the colors of Brazil. Which is green, yellow, and... Um, uh, more green. Blue, says everybody. Yeah, sure. Why not? That's really painful in the eyes, isn't it? What an awful, awful looking coaster. <laughs> I don't think you could pay me to get on that. What do you get? You get one small drop, one very small curved drop, and yet it counts as exciting. Madness. Hey, I don't think we've had dinghy slide before. If we have, I can't remember it, which means it might as well be new. Where are you gonna go? We have plenty of places for such things, but... I don't... wait, what is this? A U-shaped open track? Or a... enclosed track? How tight can it make corners? Looks like it needs four to make a corner. Mm. support thing. Easily sorted. I mean, why not just make as much of this as possible the same level. Blunk. So that I don't face these troubles. Well, I've ruined the theme park. Hang on, it says Lucky Lake. Thinking back to it, when I was in Florida, there was a guy who called himself Lucky. He had a lake. He invited people to go swimming in it. Hmm. Uh, I wonder if there's any relation. Is that it? You just dingy about like that? Oh me, oh my. I wonder if this is a if you crest too fast you explode kind of affair.
Oof, those dinghies sure don't keep speed. Alright, test it out. I'm not confident in it, but let's see how it is. I bet the boats can leave the track unless it's enclosed. That seems reasonable. Well, I just won't have any crests at, uh, at high speeds. I wonder how many people can ride one dinghy. Also, minimum waiting times for chumps. I feel like there should almost certainly be some water involved here. Two-pair dinghy. Well, at least you'll die with someone you like. Oof. It's a bit rough, but we'll open her up for business anyway. Maybe they just smash their heads against the board when they go through. Got a huge footprint. Not a fan of that. Hopefully I can thread a needle through it all. Yeah, it looks like if I get just the right height around there I can go through it. But yeah, it blew a lot of space. Ah, the log flume. Maybe I can log flume through it. There's plenty of space around here to build a nice elevated bit of log flume. Feels like I can go through this quite nicely. Oh, I can build it underwater? That's cool, but probably useless. Alright, before I start making this, I should expand my, ro my road so I got something to contain myself in. was a mistake that I kept making early on, especially Amity Airfield where I just kept locking myself into position with my own rides.
give it one single reverser inside the place so that uh, you never know what you're going to get. See, am I actually able to get through this? Well, I'll be. Let me finish it off with the big splash. And I might even be able to get back home in time for the. Oh, right, we're missing a bit of elevation here. That'll do it. Nice. I'm only allowed logs, but screw minimum waiting time. Just pile them all in. I don't need to test this, it'll be fine. Extra music over here, but not water style. That's awful. What's some Martian style? Makes the dinghy look a bit more exciting when you have the water splashing down from the guys on the log flume. And good, some people actually want to ride it. Oh, they're going through it too fast to actually spin around. Interesting. That's as interesting as it is unacceptable. of amenities now that I've expanded here. Let's offer people all the candy floss they could chow down. Gotta remember we are the best toilet park. Add a toilet. And some chicken nugs. And people need information on how to buy all my stuff. <laughs> so, by uh, by a large amount, Orlov is the most popular Brazilian, followed by the Black Winds. Nobody really seems to care for poor Brelix. Poor guy. It's nice seeing people actually lining up for my rides, but why is nobody... What's your problem? Oh. The curse that is minimum waiting time. Get them on those jet skis! time. What a joke. It's health and safety gone mad, I tell you. It's nice having three of these things running at once. I love that you can have multiple uh, cars running. Righto. No new flat rides, it seems. So what's the next thing we want to build? Not the River Rapids, I think. Wait, have I built River Rapids? Seems kind of fitting to have a, another bit of wateriness around here. But I want to have something that's a bit lame compared to these awesome things that I've now built. Waterfalls, huh? Rapids? 
This might not be so lame after all. Alright, I love going into a deep plunge right after coming out of rapids myself. But not when I run face first into the bob slayer. Fascinating. What an incredibly versatile uh, ride. You can have anything here. Lost my perspective though. Oop. There we go. Probably won't be the most popular ride just based on location here. Not a lot of people walk by, but now I've given them a reason to walk by. Yeah, it's nice to have some amenities around here. Something that's missing here are gambling stalls and arcades. Theme Park had that, but Theme Park had everything. Theme Park did not have everything. Alright, tell me about it. It's a pretty great ride, right? I wonder if it's possible to take corners so fast that you get the G's. Oh, no. oh god, what an awful thing. Well, we'll have it open anyway. A nice relaxing thing for people to ride. I wonder how you make it more exciting. I already gave it loads of drops. Maybe you need to go through waterfalls with a lot of speed. Dinosaurs, Jake. I think the excitement bonus you get is proportional. So if you already have low excitement, it won't give you that much. That said, you make an excellent point. Dinosaurs. As expected, far more exciting. Yes. It must be really depressing working for a ride that has almost nobody uh, go on it. I should ask Aristo, maybe he was stationed on rides like that. I like this Lucky Lake place, I think I'd just like it more if I was uh, financially squeezed. Well, there's a whole lot of nothing going on over here. What an unfortunate place to be. No amenities either, so if you're trapped over here, you're going to be really hungry and thirsty and lost. Let's fix some of those things. Give us some nice chips. You know it's a British-made game when they have chips for sale. 
And there's a toilet. No, this is the best toilet spark. We have multiple toilets. And every toilet that you build actually adds to the soft guest cap, which is kind of cool. Wait, okay, I thought it was a sausage roll stall, which would be obnoxiously British. Okay, what's next? The steel twister, huh? do you do at the gate? Continuous circuit. As fast as we can go, please. You do have boosters, though, so I could always just boost you right out. Which sounds pretty good. Is it even going to make it up there based on the booster? Yeah, sure, why not? Hell, it can go further. Wait, a launched lift hill? That's awesome! Then launch your way through this. Tough, but I think it can make it. can get through that, and if I can get through it, I want to get through it with the... Ah, man, I never get this thing right. That's how I want to loop through it. Oh, there's no way I'm going to have the speed to get through all of that. Not when it just barely makes it through that. Eesh. But, maybe, just maybe, with the power of, not Grayskull, but a boosted upwards thinger. Yeah. I think we're already going a bit fast for corkscrewing right now. Yeah, that's probably still a bit fast for corkscrewing. Let's just bring it over here a bit so it loses a bit of speed. Then it can corkscrew over to the right. And then Little Bandit can roll to a gentle stop. Everyone's going to want to ride this, so... 
Nice big cute. Requesting a music swap, sir. Uh, it can be done. Will you ever do any other World Conquest New Force since so much has changed? <sighs> I'm not sure. World Conquest isn't that tantalizing. I've done it four times. So, I don't think so. There's not a lot really to prove. I suppose if I thought of something amazing like... Okay, it's not impossible, I'll give it that, but it's very not likely. What gives us this spooky music? It's you, right? Forget the Martians, it's time for... Candyland. Mm-mm. Love that ultra extremity. What's causing it? It's all about that, right? It's fine. It's still fine. Wait, who am I even looking at for this? Yeah, it's still this thing. Okay, well, easily solved. I put a bit of brakes on there. But it's still a problem here. Breaks here are easy to sort out. I could make this slower, it already has a boost that gets it up over that. So if I just had fewer boosters, we might be okay. But then it has to still make it up here, which is dubious. sunshine you can do it you just need to hit that it's not gonna make it all right try it with uh, more boosting it's a little bit bad but it's not awful it should make it to there, where it goes whoosh, and it still makes it, it still makes it, it's... It still makes it. Dang, I made something beautiful here. Nicks the whole first corkscrew, but it's it's nice. It does beg the question though, how do I get up to there though? Let's see, you're at three meters apparently. Doesn't look like three meters. Doesn't look like three meters at all. I often forget you can build in reverse.
certainly don't want that unbanked at the speed they're going to be going at. Yeah, that kind of works actually. Could I not make it a bit more turny? No, no, I can't. I feel like this is a recipe for disaster. I should have it come out a bit more. There, how's that? Not too much on the anything yet. I suppose it has a corkscrew at the end, it's not like it's losing out on the corkscrew love. <sighs> well, that's abrupt. Let's watch the damage. Make it, you live it. Yeah, these brakes are savage. Okay, that corkscrew should be a lot more acceptable to the precious minds of our people. Hey, pretty good. Uh, something is going horribly wrong somewhere. It's getting a bit scary. Let's not have it. Alright, this will be good for our thrill seekers probably. Tom Fo says the traditional boring ending. What? You mean a corkscrew and a decently fast curve, uh, banked curve? I say no. It's going to be a problem if, um, with people on it, this thing reaches different speeds where it doesn't make that. Ah, oh, everybody loves it. I'd have them buy a souvenir if money meant anything on this scenario. Sadly, it does not. Again, let's not clamp ourselves in here. You know, building over this lake is a lot like building over flat ground, but it's just even more fun. It would also be hideously expensive if uh, money was not just a number here. It's not even a number here. Excellent. I'd be able to charge the full twenty dollar dues for this coaster, I dare say. And I'm glad I got the intertwining 
loops working there. Nice. <laughs> I'm doing horrible things to Lucky's Lake here. Still not keen to give us flat rides, but... I do like the wooden roller coaster. Hey, we got the wild. Oh no, it's a different kind of wild mouse. Do I not have any of my own builds in some of these? Probably not. I just make those for crappy little coasters. I don't even have a harsh treatment around here. Oh well, wooden roller coaster. What do you got? <clears throat> you have unlimited money. Why charge them so much? I'm not charging people anything. It's just, if they were here, I'd be charging them an arm and a leg. And also, if I could charge money, I'd be charging an arm and a leg. You just don't understand. Can have a nice, sizable wooden roller coaster around here. Initial height. Gotta waste all the space we have here, you know. to do is not waste so much space, as in I want to keep it kind of narrow, but what you going to do? Yeah, I think I know what I want to do here though. Hang on, now I'm up at 35 meters, but this thing only went up to 28, so let's not get too extreme. Otherwise, we're going to lose our speed. Yeah, I think I'm asking a bit much, but I think it's going to go that high. But I do want to clear this. That's what I'm looking for. Wait, maybe not. It curved too much. That's what I wanted. How can I have this but not loop it through itself again, though? That's not easy as that often is for me. Ok, 
Can you even get through it there? Kind of. What's the problem here? Hmm. The problem is that I'm not seeing the problem. You go straight through like that, but you can't go up through it. Can you go up through it at all? Yeah, you can. Okay, so if we get to that, I just need you to... There we go. There's no way you're going to manage that. But let's see anyway. Well, I am thoroughly impressed with myself. Now, it's slated to be the traditional boring ending here, but that's just what the people want, probably. Okay, can only have seven trains per car. But four times six is better than three times seven. And I like seeing more trains anyway. I wonder what the big problem for this uh, this thing will be. Because there's bound to be one. The wooden coaster sounds so nice. I agree, King. It sounds great. That clackety clack is very true to life. Makes it feel like I'm riding the Guazi again. I think it was called the Guazi. It was a great ride. Okay, I worry a bit about this hump right here. Well, the vertical Gs are fine for it. Good even. Oh, that's rough, tough stuff. But it made it. It very made it. Yeah. Besides, heavier passengers just means it's going to pick up more speed going down. Ten point oh seven. You know that's just fine. Of course, it might mean that people need some medical assistance as soon as they're out. Let's flank the place with us. And perhaps they'll need the toilet from just looking at the thing. Best toilet park right here. Oh, people are going for it. Yeah. Look at that Q form too, and look at it easily make the double helix. Helix? Double loop. 
that moment when you say a word, you realize it's the wrong word. Deserve some chips. And donuts this is just the fried stuff corner here. Pretzels are fried, right? Maybe they're baked. This is a very small area, seems to be fitting for a crappy small coaster. And nothing says crappy and small quite like the wild mouse. At least this time I don't have to make it abusive amounts of intensity. going to deny people the ability to get off if I go to that side too much. Designing these coasters always gives me such a hard time. Hopefully that's not too intense for everybody. But I don't think I built this thing at the right level. Oh, I did. Cool. Here, Commissar says, Morning, Jake, and morning, chat. Well, good mor morning. Now it's just struck noon, thanks. Okay, let's see how it does. Do, 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 do. That ending does look a bit tight. Well, you know, not that bad at all. High excitement, high everything. Of course, it's important to have no minimum waiting time and lift as fast as possible. Otherwise, open her up for business. This game really suffers from low bitrate video encoding. Is that so? Looked fine for me when I was watching it. Also, Brelix is broken down, potentially in tears. Orlov is also broken down. Because we need unison between them. 
TBW holds it strong. saddened by the lack of flat rides that we have access to here. They're not as exciting as everything else, but I feel that they really take up space nicely when all you have are coasters. Wow, Orlov just could not keep it together. I feel that when all you have are flat rides, it kind of loses a bit of charm of the place. Because when I go to a theme park, sure, I love the roller coasters, but there's a lot more to love. I wouldn't have enjoyed the Mon 2 quite as much if I didn't have Akbar's Adventure Tour to also ride on. Akbar's Adventure Tour was great, but I believe it's closed down now. Well, I'm quite confident in that because last time I was there, which was only a year and a half ago, it was gone. Replaced by some other ride, which was really good, but it was a roller coaster. And whilst roller coasters are better, what's even better is variety. That said, it, it was pretty old, so I can understand why it's turned, uh, why it's gotten rid of. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy with this wooden coaster. If I was charging money for it, I'd probably try to knock that intensity down a bit to attract more people. And that high intensity is probably hitting the excitement, which would otherwise be amazing. Where is it getting the problem from? I can follow this guy and see what uh, see what he's up to. The problem's probably with the vertical G's. Let's keep an eye. This isn't the boring ending, it's the boring beginning. Okay, it's probably that little neck snapper there. Well, it's not the neck snapper, it's the gut wrencher. Okay, not quite as much as taking that at the speed we were taking it, but I needed that speed, or else we wouldn't have made the second one. Damn it, game, don't you understand? Perhaps it's the fact that it went down and then up so fast. Who knows, but it just sucks to be the people that don't get to ride my awesome thing here. We could have a bit of submarining going on around here. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing special to be done here. Regular submarines, loads of boats, of course no minimum waiting time. That blooming Scottish kid saying roller coaster. All 
always gets me. And he does it all the time as well. I don't think this is going to be the most popular thing I've ever made, but that doesn't mean I should do a stupid queue like that. At least give myself space for all the... well... Now I've said it and I made a stupid queue like that. No! Nobody dies in Lucky's Lake. Not on my watch, at least. Why are you going down a pathway to nowhere, though? There we go. Open her up. You know, I don't spend much time looking at what our people think, and I'm kind of glad I don't. It's too distracting. It would get in the way of me making the park I want to make. I like how all these intricate scenery props and setups, and all Jake does is spam dinosaurs near coasters for ratings. It's because I'm not interested in... Uh in a sandbox. I'm interested in the management aspect, so I care about what impacts on the gameplay. That said, I still like to make nice looking coasters. Hang on, did I have that unbanked? I did, I must have been very confident that there wasn't a lot of speed. Still an excellent coaster though, so no problems there. Plus, if I want an excuse, I'll just say that I was inspired by Jurassic Park The Ride at Islands of Adventure. Which is very good and has lots of dinosaurs in it. Including a couple of dinosaurs uh, ripping apart the guy's shirt after I assumed he'd been eaten. I don't know much about dinosaurs at all, for the record, but I know what I like. So spam the water spouts. No, we did that before. No, not the twist. Well, I'm pretty happy with this theme park. It just needs one little push, and then we... We get the reward here. In fact, I wonder if we're on our way to it. Ah, that's growing too slowly. Let's build more, the uh, more roller coasters. I didn't make a design for Steel Wild Mouse, and I keep forgetting that I didn't. Oh, the Reverser Coaster. We built this once, and we had no end of troubles with it. So let's build it again and have more troubles with it. One, two, three. Ops the daisy, and... You can do pretty tight turns, which is cool. Now, if I recall, the problem with you is that if you take turn... If you crest too fast, you have problems. Considerable problems. And somebody once told me to cease this folly when uh, trying to make this work. No, it was a side friction coaster I was told to stop the folly in. To which I say never. To reverse. Cool.
Looks great. Okay, we only get regular reverser cars, fair enough. Try it out. But it's going to be perfect in every way, so we'll make the queue already. Honestly, it looks pretty amazing. For such a small, well, maybe small is the wrong word, but it's hardly an elaborate ride. It's really exciting. We'll see if adding uh, people to it changes that. Maybe make it a bit too exciting. Medium amazing. Well, it's hardly the most exciting coaster around, so I'm happy enough with medium. You can't loop, you can't helix, you can't do a whole lot with it. You can't even bank your turns. I really like the way it spins, though. I'd like to ride on... No, I'm quite certain I've ridden on uh, one of these, but they've been indoor. Oh, we are dropping people backwards. See, they're spinning there and then going down. Not a lot of dropping, but it'll do. That'll do for me. Nope, mistakes were made there. forget who's doing our horror music. It's enough of that, thanks. There's also not enough balloons in my park. <laughs> Black wind is now broken down. Poor guy. Okay, I think one last coaster, and we've got this one in the bag, and what we haven't really done is a suspended swinging coaster. I don't need to worry about space so much, so we'll just use up all of this. Blue and Scottish kid. A roller coaster. How big are the compartments on this one? Are they individual, or do they go together? Well, they go quite a bit together, okay. Uh, what can we do with you? Helixes, brakes, S-bends, block brakes. Not much of a helix down. It didn't have the space to do it. Oh 
god, it's got plenty of speed going into that. Maybe I underestimated the, the kind of speed this thing has or needs, but oh well, it gets it anyway. It really doesn't have anything exciting going for it, does it? Oh well, excitement, or lack of excitement, gets lack of excitement. That's going to be a snapper. I have a feeling this is going to be really terrible. Let's have it anyway. Touching on the reds, but it should be fine. We'll get it opened up, and this should be the last coaster that we need. Very nice. Nauseating, but very nice. Ahem. I won't deny that I'm pretty happy with the theme park that we built here, but the problem I have is that there was no money needed. Where's the excitement if you're not put under fiscal stress? Unlimited funds, but a challenging lake? I don't think so. What would have been challenging is if we weren't able to build roads, or if we weren't able to build roads over the water. If we had to have all the rides, uh, if all the paths going to the rides had to be out here, then it would have been a really good challenge, I think, because then you'd have to put all of the coaster stuff over the water and all the rides out here. Kind of like what we did when we had the Alpine... Uh, Alpine Heights, or whatever it was. The Snowy Mountains, where we weren't allowed to terraform. That was cool. But this was just... This might as well have been flat, rat, flat land, but it gave extra excitement to everything we built. Yeah, the alternative is, if there were funds on this map, then building over the water would be very expensive. All the supports that you needed, even building regular paths, is super expensive this way. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh well. Last thing to do is just to ruin Lucky's Lake. Because what's the point in having something if you can't ruin it? At least there's plenty of fish for you to get now. Okay, good job. Let's save this up as Lucky Lake complete. And we move on to the final. God, it looks awful now. That's all relative, I guess. Move on to the final map. <laughs>